Hi guys, so I just woke up, um, I'm gonna grab a uh, coffee now and basically Swiss vlog is coming as well I just can't organize my time, that's why I'm just uh, procrastinating but it's gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna post it very soon So this challenge, this is the Oscars challenge Basically, if you don't know, I'm a massive fan of the Oscars and I found the Oscars very randomly when I was I think 14 or 13 or something like this Since then, I've been watching the Oscars every year and the, like the whole thing, the whole ceremony from red carpet to like everything So this year, we're watching the Oscars again and obviously we need to watch the movies again and these vlogs this is basically this is good basically 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 this is the the 11th time i'm saying basically so basically um this challenge with the videos i'm gonna be posting a video every day the people who don't like the oscars it's not gonna be about the Osc everything about the oscars obviously i'm gonna watch movies and stuff but i'm you're gonna spend a day uh with me i'm gonna post the videos until 12th of march hopefully every day i'll try i'll try to post every day yeah on 12th of march we're gonna watch the oscars uh together and now coffee So we're drinking this coffee <coughs> from Lidl, just one capsule, capsule, cap, cap. one of these, um, the original ones I think they're better because there's, first of all there are two capsules, one of, the, one of them is milk, one of them is coffee, so you have more coffee, and this one is mixed, so you end up with half glass of coffee for some reason so when you press the button again of the machine there's just water coming and it's yeah it's not bad <laughs> but this is the budget <laughs> like if you're budgeting <laughs> this is the budget option drink your coffee with sugar try drinking it with honey instead like way better honestly and it's healthier and not that this is not that this honey is healthier because this is again budget <laughs> version from Lidl but in general if you have like pure honey proper um honey it's way better <laughs> well, it's not that bad. So basically, everything here is a mess. Uh, we are going to my friend's name day. A name day in Bulgaria, long story short, name day in Bulgaria means this is something like a birthday. Uh, maybe some people know about it, maybe some people don't know about it. This is like a birthday, but we're celebrating your name. Like, <laughs> for example, if your name is Peter, you have a name day on St. Patrick's Day. And um, yeah, we're going for just a, it's gonna be just a brunch in Canary. Uh, this is, you're gonna meet Theodora. I don't know if you've met her. And uh, we're gonna celebrate 
her name and we are late did i mention that we are late yes we are late because of Ruman, because of I want to mention every single time when we are late, it's not because of me, it's because of Ruman, because he's doing his beard, he's doing I don't know what he's doing, but we are late every single time because of him. Thank you very much. After we finished with the brunch, we went to this lovely place in central London. I think it was a brew house and there was a slide there. Everyone was drinking a pint of beer and Roman was drinking tea. Okay guys, so it's 8 o'clock currently and we're going home. And today, we, the name day thing, the brunch, it was, it was alright, it was quite fun. And um, then we went to this brew uh, dog place and that was fun as well. The slide, I don't know if you can hear me or not, the slide was nice. And now we uh, we're going home. And later we're gonna be watching movies for the Oscars. Okie doke. So it's currently 8.30 I think or 9 o'clock. I'm not quite sure. Let me check with you. And it is 8.24. So we're back home and uh, I'm gonna eat quickly. Um, and then we watching a film. Here uh, it's still it's a mess. Still a problem. Just ignore this. I have a list of um, basically I'm comparing the Fablemans, which is one of the nominated films, with Babylon. You need to watch both of the films. Um, I, I think they're great. And this year Fablemans, which is uh, a film by uh, Steven Spielberg, Spielberg, is nominated. Um, in many categories. That's why we have a list. Uh, one of the cat some of the categories are um, supporting actor, leading actress, directing, um, music, best picture, of course, um, production design, writing. Uh, Babylon is nominated in less categories, um, such as costume design, music, production design. However, I I'm really surprised that actually Margot Robbie is not nominated for leading actress, but. This is my um, cup here. Uh, I'm not promoting Star of Ramen. <laughs> it's just it's my cup. So ignore that as well. Ignore the uh, this this here as well. Yeah, about Fablemans. This is back. I'm surprised actually. The film is about Steven Spielberg's life, which is interesting because and I literally because I didn't didn't stupidly enough didn't read anything about the film. I was like, okay, I'm gonna watch the film gonna enjoy it and then when I searched uh, in Wikipedia about Steven Spielberg's life I was like this is same like the film wow the film is great um, nominated nominated in many categories I'm not gonna spoil anything it's about basically how St not Steven Spielberg but how the character uh, as a young boy he found his passion for film about his family and his story but presented in a very interesting way i can put it like this babylon from the other side i say um i'm comparing both of the films because they're similar similar in terms of um they're both about filming industry babylon is just you need to watch some interviews with margot robbie um explaining how they filmed everything and 
how Damien Chazelle, the director, he invited Margot Robbie and her acting partner in his house and he was basically filming everything on his um, iPhone. And I was like, oh, what? I don't know, it was interesting to, to see that even professional directors sometimes experiment with just trying things. And uh, that was, yeah, interesting <laughs> for me to find out. Uh, the film in itself, Brad Pitt is in the film, Tobey Maguire. The final product, like the final, the, the film itself, I don't know, maybe it's interesting for me because I'm interested in the film and this industry. So every single time when I see, it's basically how they filmed when they started filming, how they started filming without any sound, how what was, how that was different than now. And then they, they, they started using uh, sound as well. And it was way different than silent films, for example. So. For me, that's extremely interesting for people that don't like films. They don't want to work in this industry. Maybe it's not that interesting, but for me it is. So thank you very much. If you want to uh, see the films, please enjoy. I guarantee that the films are good. Thank you. See you tomorrow.